Hi, my name is Aaron, and um, this is going to be the beginning of hopefully a long and interesting and ultimately rewarding journey. Going to Japan and walking the path of haiku master Basho, who did many walking journeys, um, the most famous of which was the uh, <clears throat> 1689 publishing of The Narrow Road to Oku, which was a walking trip around a very large portion of Japan. I've always been interested in reading Basho's haiku literature and um, narrative of his journeys. So I finally decided to take the idea of researching that stuff and maybe plotting a map of the actual walking journey and then someday taking a trip to Japan and going along that journey myself, bringing the uh, narrow road to Oku with me and reading the haiku uh, in the actual locations where they were written and see what it's like to try to see those same locations through Basho's eyes. Um, I'm sure a lot of things have changed since then. It was 1689 and now it is 2022. So, but ultimately I think it would be an amazing trip. So yeah, I decided to take the idea seriously and I picked up this book, The Narrow Road to Oku, uh, which is translated by Donald Keene, has some really beautiful illustrations in it. I'll maybe post a link in the description of the video, but each, uh, well, not each haiku, but every other page or so has these beautiful um, illustrations. You'll notice in here that I actually also highlighted um, stuff in here. I highlighted dates. I also highlighted landmarks that were mentioned, places that Basho visited, and then of course, location names so that I can try to make a map. And so this was actually my second time reading the uh reading the books so that i can go back and highlight the first time i just read it for enjoyment so today i decided to sit down with google maps after highlighting as much information as i could and plot out a map the best i could with uh what's in the book and see how accurate i could get um so here's what i got so far and uh just trying to plot it out myself obviously there's going to be things that i got wrong but I'm calling this the first draft of many. And then I thought, okay, now that I've done this, let me see if there are other maps online. And there actually was another Google map that has 36,000 views. So it much it must be pretty respected to have that many views. And if I look at the two side by side, I actually think I did a pretty good job. I mean, it looks like it traces about the same path there's so many more key points on this one, which I think is awesome because maybe I can dive into each one individually and see how many of those landmarks um, were actually documented by this, uh, this individual, this uh, contributor on Google Maps. Eventually, this will probably result in a lot of super detailed research. How many of these places are actually still there? Uh, how many of the landmarks can still be visited? Um, I'm sure some of them have just been lost to time. And then based on what's still there, I will try to create my own personal travel map of, you know, how many of those places can I reasonably see within a period of time where I can actually go to Japan and actually travel that path. So let's call this day one. It is uh, July 20th of 2022 and Hopefully you stick with me on this journey. This will be the first video on a YouTube channel dedicated to this. Maybe this will result in some things. Maybe it'll result in a, a blog uh, where I write and post photos and videos during the, during the trip. Maybe it will result in uh, hopefully more YouTube videos, it will. Um, maybe it'll result in a book if I ever have time to actually you know, write a book. I think that would be amazing. So, or a guide for people who want to do it themselves. Subscribe to the channel so that as I post new videos, you see that in your subscription feed. And I'm going to figure out how to document this as I go. So hopefully be patient with me in terms of, you know, quality and definitely check out the link in the description to uh, the book that I'm using as the basis for this. Um, also be consulting as many other books published on the topic of Basho and travels and maybe even references he made in his prose to um, other poets that guided the places he decided to go. And um, thanks for following along.